sorry, the door was locked. So I didn't have time to make another real video this month, but since uploading that last video, there's been a huge influx of really interesting and insightful comments. And also people with moon brain. So we're gonna go over all that. After this, I'm done with Halo after that, I, I promise. First comment. You forgot to mention the ghost wall near the end of the library on the new graphics. Oh yeah, I actually did. Um, in case it wasn't incredibly obvious already that Saber was pressed for time, uh, towards the end of the library, there's a little supply cache in the original that's obscured by a wall in the anniversary edition. The kicker though is you can walk through the wall and then see all the world geometry. Just turn the brightness down. Yeah, it's still ugly. Halo. Contrast evolved. You had me right up until look how good Infinite does it. Hey bud, great news. I, I just got word back. You're actually allowed to agree with me, but disagree with an example I use. You can have both. I just hate people like this, so remasters better than the original. Yup, I just triggered literally everyone. But I literally don't give a shit. We need an SPV3 video. You won't like it. I loved Anniversary. I mean, that's fine. I, I wish I loved it. Look, I'm not here to guilt you into disliking something just because I hate it. My goal here isn't to make you think like me, it's just to make you think. And hopefully laugh once. You call Halo dated, but I think it looks beautiful. Hey, look, I think Halo is charming. I made a whole video about it. But it it's ages showing, there's no denying that. Lots of good arguments in this video, but could have done without all the excessive screaming. Very cringe. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I'd love to see you do a remaster. Oh, you know, I, I didn't realize that because I don't have a massive team, publisher money, and infinite time, I'm actually not allowed to criticize video games. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind moving forward. Do Halo 2 Anniversary now! A lot of people wanted me to talk about this, but to be honest, I really don't have much to say about it. I have some nitpicks, like the fact that the cutscene music is no longer adaptive, or how they botched certain weapon sounds, but that's what they are. Nitpicks. Not fundamental objections to Saber's entire approach. I like Halo 2 Anniversary. It, I, I think it's an improvement for the most part. Didn't you contradict yourself? You said it'd be tactically smarter to use the remaster's graphics instead of the flashlight, but a little earlier said that enemies are harder to see. So which is it? Again, it comes down to faithfulness to your source material. This level was made to be played in the dark, not in a deep-fried JPEG. What cutscenes use motion capture? I think you're full of it, dude. The answer is none. Not even in the remaster. Y yeah, one, one sec, hold on. I agree with you, but despise the use of the phrase objectively inferior in an opinion piece. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of regret that word choice. Nothing in art is objective, really. I think it's good. It's just made to look better. Bruh, bad video. You are so nitpicky. Almost all of this guy's points are banal and stupid. I really love how so many people can watch a 25 minute long video of a dude carefully explaining why he feels a certain way, and then leave a comment saying, Nope, you are nitpicking and biased. I win, bye bye. Thinking they've added to the conversation. Hey, you're wrong, I'm right. See, now this guy's got a point. I can see everything and nothing simultaneously. It's extremely clear that all of the art and visual problems of Anniversary are a result of bad management. The quality of work is very good on its own, but just looks off when compared to the source material. For the most part, I agree with you. Although, I don't really like describing it as, quote, off when compared to the original, because that implies that Anniversary is a competent piece of work until compared to something better, which isn't true. At the end of the day, the only people who know for sure how this happened are the ones who did it. I'm much more comfortable examining the artwork itself than I am guessing why it looks this way, because at least with the game itself, I can confidently break down how it falls short. Have you ever tried SPV3? Style-wise, it does a much more interesting job than Anniversary. Interesting is a nice way of saying worse. Sorry to be that guy, but... Frustrating? Okay, look, man, you know, sometimes, when you're a child, you think you know how to say a certain word. And then, you know, 22 years go by, and nobody corrects you on that, and then, y you say frustrating in a serious tone in front of 500,000 people. It happens to everyone. 
The real crime is that they used the Gearbox port of the game rather than the Xbox original. Yes, I'm aware, but plenty of people have already explained and hated the shortcomings of the Gearbox port. I don't think I need to be the hundredth guy to point out something everybody already knows. But if we don't turn up the lighting, how will you see all the cool work we did? You lost me when praising it. <sighs> that game looks terrible for a 2021 title. Gee, I wonder if maybe that's because it's going to be running on an Xbox One S. Honestly, I had no idea how many people hated Infinite's appearance. And I think a lot of that stems from a misunderstanding of the difference between graphics and art direction. In my opinion, Infinite's graphics are passable, if a little underwhelming. But its art direction is top notch. It's all about that visual clarity. I agree with most of what you said, but fuck you! I also hate how they changed the music. Yeah, because if there's one thing about Halo that aged poorly, it's definitely the music, right? We need an SPV3 video. We really don't, though. So I know about action lines and script writing, but not visuals. What, what does that mean? So yeah, I could have probably explained this better. The action line is a classic 2D animation principle that can also be applied to 3D. It helps us to more clearly convey motion through dramatic, clearly illustrated posture. Retrospectively, I, I think the example I used is more of a framing thing, but what I was trying to say here is that there was a reason the shot was framed that way. It's intense, dramatic, and accentuates Cortana's movements, whereas the update is flat, lifeless, and exposes more of the jank. I can smell the art major through my screen. Holy fuck. That is the most creatively insulting thing I've been told in a long time. It's not a remaster, it's a re-release. It's not a remaster, it's a reskin. Mm, I'm iffy on your opinions because you showed remakes when talking about remasters. I think you're confusing a remaster with a remake. Is this really the hill y'all want to die on? If you really want to be a fucking point Dexter, Halo Anniversary is really its own thing. Because no other game I can think of runs the remaster on top of the original in real time. I intentionally spoke in broad terms because the stuff I was talking about can apply to remasters, remakes, reboots, re whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter what you call it. I have sex, says the YouTube anime. Okay, you know what? Infinite doesn't look anything like CE. Evolved wasn't meant to look cartoony, just colorful. Old interviews show how Bungie wanted to make this alien world feel real. It's easy to misinterpret old games as cartoony. That was never the intent. Uh, I, I think you misinterpret those old interviews. Visual media doesn't have to be realistic in the traditional sense to feel real. Accurate isn't realistic, but it feels real as hell in the sense that it feels grounded, especially in the context of its own universe. It's incredibly detailed and brilliantly paced. You can easily lose yourself in it. Cartoons don't necessarily lack realism. They're an exaggerated interpretation of it. Okay, take all the money you made from this video and do it yourself. Noble Six, how much money do you think I have? SPV3 is the answer. Best music, gunplay, graphics, and atmosphere. You'd be right if you weren't incredibly horrifically wrong. Canonical reason- oh, this'll be good. Canonical reason for dark interiors being so bright is because Spartan 2s have augmentations that allow them to see in the dark. Anniversary is more lore-friendly. Do you seriously think that Saber bots the lighting in the name of lore-friendliness? More importantly, do you really think that level of pointless continuity is worth the visual downgrade? I, mean, yeah. I like, I like their, their work on no. Halo 2 better. At least let them turn their flashlights on because it took me so long to get them to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle should play SPV3. Listen, there's a reason I don't want to talk about it. When it comes to a gigantic, multi-million dollar production like Halo Anniversary, I'm more than happy to tear it apart because of how much talent and money is involved. We should really be holding them to a higher standard anyway. SPV3 is the polar opposite of that. It's a community mod made by passionate people in their spare time. That's great, and I don't want to knock it. It almost feels like I'd be punching down. The last thing I'd want to do is make anybody feel bad for doing something they enjoy. Even if I think the end result is terrible. Jesus, this is a this is a real bummer note to end on, huh? Uh, I, I interviewed Marty O'Donnell. I expect that you sometimes. You need to play and then make a video on SPV3. I love to see an SPV3. I do you really gotta love play the work SPV3. Of those guys it's like SPV3 is a real man to play Halo SPV3. Why? Why do so many people want me to talk about SPV3?
It's not just the comments section. A lot of people talk about this mod like it's better than Vanilla Halo. There are fucking news articles about it. I'm about to be pretty harsh here, but it's not because I'm mad the mod exists. It's honestly amazing how much work has gone into the thing. For God's sake, they've been at it for more than 10 years. That's like eight years. That takes some serious dedication. I'm only harsh because of the staggering amount of people who are out here legitimately arguing that this mod improves Halo, that 343 should take notes, and that this is the way the game was meant to be played. I actually spoke to an ex-developer for the mod who told me that the defining factor of whether or not a feature was added is whether people thought it was cool. Which would explain why SPV3 feels to me like such a loose collection of predominantly bad ideas. Like, why did you bring the battle rifle and the marksman rifle, but keep the pistols zoomed? They all do the same thing. It's just bloated Why now. does every level look like a washed out, messier version of itself? Why are the levels redesigned in a way that conflicts with the originals intended? Why are there so many lens flares? Why is the game rebalanced to be worse? Why does Cortana look like a wizard 101 avatar? Why is there a terminal in the game that uses literal incest as cheap shock value and, and no Nobody seems to care about that? I don't want to make anybody who worked on this thing feel bad for just trying to have some fun with a great game. But I'm also not gonna lie to you and pretend like I think any of these changes were for the better. So there you go. That's my opinion. If you disagree with it, that's completely fine. But it does mean that you're wrong and less intelligent than me. I am correct and very smart. That's why I have a YouTube channel. YouTubers always have good opinions. Thanks for watching.